Look who's back with us, Senator Ron Johnson from Senator, Senate Homeland Security. Senator, it's a pleasure having you back on. Your reaction to the breaking news that just came in within the past hour that Elon Musk just fired Twitter's top lawyer, James Baker, for his possible role in censoring the Hunter Biden laptop story. And Senator for, Musk is saying he potentially blocked, was trying to block and vet the second release of Twitter emails and texts. What do you say to this? Well, my guess is uh, Mr. Musk has uh, caused to fire a number of people at Twitter for their previous actions, and it sounds like in this case it's for their current actions as well. Uh, I, from my standpoint, I think the, uh, uh, the biggest revelation out of the Twitter file so far is the fact that the FBI was uh, uh, preemptively uh, laying the groundwork to sabotage any disclosure of the Hunter Biden laptop, which they had in their possession on December 19th. Or, 2000, or December 2019. Um, and so th they, they had basically threatened Mr. McIsaac, uh, to paraphrase, say, you know, pe people that don't talk generally don't get hurt, uh, something to that effect. And one of the reasons Mr. McIsaac uh, turned over his computer is because Senator Grassley and I issued our report, and he felt he was uh, probably safe if uh, two U.S. senators were looking at Hunter Biden, he could probably release that computer. So uh, th this, this should trouble every American that the uh, FBI was acting in such a partisan manner, uh, making sure that uh, they were laying the groundwork that if uh, McIsaac uh, turned over that computer that they knew was genuine, knew was authentic, uh, that they had the, the plans already laid to sabotage it by labeling it Russian disinformation. Senator, this is the same former FBI lawyer, James Baker, who was James Comey's deputy. He worked on the debunked Trump Russia probe. He worked on the Michael Flynn case. He was the point man at the FBI for the Hillary Clinton campaign, putting the debunked Trump Russia Alpha Bank narrative inside the FBI. So the, here's the fight over this. We had Tim Tebolt at the FBI accused of slow walking the Hunter Biden probe. Did the FBI debrief you or anyone in Congress about any of this or about its regular weekly meetings with Twitter and Facebook on what it was telling them to censor before the 2020 election? Did the FBI talk to you in Congress about it? Well, the FBI provided both Senator Grassley and myself an unsolicited briefing. In, in, on August 6, 2020, we were never told who directed that briefing. It was a completely unnecessary briefing. It told us nothing. I knew it was a setup. It was. It was later leaked in uh, May of 2021 to smear me, saying I was warned of uh, being a target wait a minute, of Russian but, but disinformation. Wait, sorry. Did they? Did they? Did, here's the question: Did they tell you, Senator, that they were talking to Twitter and Facebook no. about censoring information weekly? No, they were. No, they were setting me up the exact same way as they set up Twitter to be, be on the lookout, and so they could smear the the uh, story about Hunter Biden's laptop. Did they, did they tell anybody no. in Congress that they were meeting with Twitter and Facebook weekly about censoring what they thought was disinformation, including the Hunter Biden laptop? Did they tell anybody no. in Congress? No, so they no, just no. went rogue? They just, it's, the FBI just went rogue here? Again, not to my knowledge, they notified anybody in Congress, but again, they were spreading the story to sabotage the Hunter Biden laptop if it ever surfaced. I mean, understand the complicity there, understand the corruption. It's not just what they did with Twitter, it's what they were doing all through 2020. Okay, so here's the thing. We even have Democrat Ro Kahana writing an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal that Twitter censorship here is bad for democracy. That, you know, it seems like Democrats and Twitter only want free speech Democrats agree with. He's the only Democrat saying that that there's potential political bias here, and then under Twitter's logic, they would have censored the Pentagon Papers or Trump's you know, tax return information. You know, President Biden routinely attacked the media and attacked voters raising questions about Hunter Biden. Watch this. But you, on the other hand, sent your son over there to get a job and work for a gas company that he had no experience with gas or nothing. You're selling access to the president. You're a damn liar, man. That's not true. And you want to check my shape on? Let's do push-ups together, man. Let's do. Let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take a nice Hey, pal, it's Dad. It's eight fifteen um, on uh, Wednesday night. If you get a chance, give me a call. Not, nothing urgent. Just want to talk to you. I thought the article released the thing on online. This going to be printed tomorrow in the Times. Was good. I think you're clear. And uh, anyway, um, if you get a chance, give me a call. I love you. It's, it's so, Senator, you see the Biden bullying here. 
the Biden bullying, the Biden team bullying. They bullied you guys. They bullied Senator Grassley. They bullied this voter here who raised questions about, you know, the Biden family cashing in on Biden's government job. When the New York Times, Washington Post, NBC, CBS, they all confirmed the information on the laptop, even though it took them nearly two, to, two years to do it. Yes, and the FBI was involved. We know 51 members of the you know, intelligence community were involved in writing that letter to sabotage the story of, of the Hunter Biden. We know that uh, Democrats in Congress were involved in undermining Chuck Grassley in my investigation. Schumer, Pelosi, Schiff, Warner, Wyden, Peters, these are people who are undermining our legitimate investigation. They didn't want this information out. And they, 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 again, this was happening all through 2020. But this is about garden variety corruption. It's about a government official cashing in on his government job, putting his son as a front man in overseas deals. Final word. Well, again, and everybody was sabotaging the disclosure of Hunter Biden's corruption that would compromise a future president of the United States. And so he got elected. Uh, we've seen polls that said he wouldn't have been elected if this story had been known, if people had known this. And so there are a lot of people involved in this. It wasn't just Twitter. It was Democrats in Congress. It was the FBI. It was members of the intelligence community. There's a much larger story here than just the Twitter files. Got it. Senator Johnson, we're going to stay on the story. We'll have you back on again soon. Thanks for joining us tonight.